Hello and welcome to another lab, SciLab uh, project. Um, today we're going to be uh, learning about mixtures and um, how we can use the physical properties of uh, each component in a mixture to separate the mixture into its individual constituents. So um, the first one we want to uh, experiment on is a mixture of sand. Here I have sand, uh, iron, iron fillings, and um, salt. So I'm going to go ahead and create the mixture. And then we're going to use the individual physical properties of each component to separate it from the mixture and some salt. All right. So we're going to give it um, a stir to have it mixed properly, as you can see. Right, so right here we have um, a mixture of sand, salt, sodium chloride, uh, our regular table salt, and some iron filings. Now we know that um, iron is ferromagnetic, so meaning that um, it has some magnetic property. So we're going to start by separating the iron out, okay, using a magnet. So um, I usually advise do not place the magnet directly into the mixture, but rather you can place the magnet underneath uh, the dish and go ahead and swirl. And then you notice the iron remains behind while the salt and sand is separated so i'm gonna so here i have just only iron so we're gonna repeat the process again until we're able to get rid of so remove all the iron you notice that i have uh, the iron being magnetized by the magnet and again there we are and we're gonna keep doing this until we're, we're satisfied that we've removed all all the iron so again you notice I have some iron left there that's why it's there so I keep going Again, you notice I have um, a little bit of iron there, and right. So we notice we have no, uh, we don't have any more iron. So now we here we have succeeded in separating our iron. All that is iron, and I, I think I still have um, a little bit of um, the sand and salt mixture there. So we've separated all So you notice no, no iron left there. All right. So, so we succeeded in getting our iron filings separated from the mixture. So I'm going to set this aside. And 
So right here now we have um, a mixture of sand and salt. Now, what do we know about sand and um, salt in terms of um, solubility, ability to dissolve in water? We know that sand cannot dissolve in water, but salt can dissolve in water. So we're going to use that physical property of uh, solub um, being able to dissolution, being able to dissolve in water. We're going to use that property to separate the sand from the salt. So right now I'm adding uh, water, okay, and there. So we're going to give it a mix, okay, and I'm going to add some more water. Okay, now um, we know something about um, substance dissolving in water. If you want more of the substance to readily dissolve, you can increase the temperature of the system. So what I'm going to do is I will, I will go ahead and heat up the mixture of water, uh, salt, and sand. I'm going to heat it up. Just warm it slightly. That way I get all the salt to dissolve completely in the water. Okay. Now, while I'm, while I'm warming that up, I'm going to go ahead and set up my filtration uh, my fi my filtration apparatus so uh, here I have a funnel so I'm gonna put the funnel in there and I need another beaker okay. all right I think uh, I think a ring clamp might be much better for this. So a ring clamp will be better for this. It gives the funnel more stability. So there we go. Now I would um, use a filter paper. Okay. There. So here I have a filter paper. Now uh, the filter paper, there is um, a technique for uh, folding the filter paper. So first you fold in half, then you fold in quarter, and then you go to the edge there and just open one quarter from one edge. and you have a very nice cone there that's okay so and that goes into my funnel all right so now that i've warmed this up i can go ahead and transfer everything in there and filter it up. Now I notice I still have some sand stuck in the bottom of the, so I'm going to just rinse it down, wash it down, squirt some water to wash it down, and there I have all the sand out.
So if you look closely, you notice um, we have a very clear liquid there. And that there is our salt solution. Okay. Now, um, because the particles of the sun, they're so large that they cannot go through the microscopic uh, holes in the filter paper, uh, they are held, the sand particles are held back as our um, residue, while here we have um, the, the solution, salt solution, as our filtrate. Okay. So now the question you ask is, okay, so uh, we've been able to separate this, the, the sand here, so how do we then get back uh, our salt? Very simple. We're going to use another um, physical property of um, salt and water. We know that um, if, we, if we place that solution on um, the hot plate, the water will boil off. Okay, the water, once the temperature increases up to 100 degrees uh, Celsius, it begins to boil and it would um, uh, evaporate off and then we would be left with the salt. So the salt would crystallize. Okay, so I think um, we've been able to filter out enough and... Okay, so if you look, there we have our sand. Let me just open the filter paper gently. So there you go, we have the sand there. So what I'm gonna do to, the, to this is just place it in an oven uh, and allow it to dry, okay? And for our filtrate, I'm gonna place for our filtrate, I'm going to place that on the hot plate. Okay, um, my beaker is made out of Pyrex. Okay, so I can actually heat it up. So we're going to leave it there to boil off the water and the salt will crystallize while I place this in the oven to dry.